All right, boys and girls, uh, today I'm going to teach you how to use, oops, sorry about the camera, how to use your watercolors. Now, it's very important that you have paper towels, um, your three paintbrushes, the flat brush, the round brush, and the script brush, and water, and you should have your watercolor. I'm going to show you a couple different techniques so um, you'll know how to use. But I'm going to start with my flat brush and I'm going to do um, just a wet on dry. So I'm going to wait, wet my paintbrush. I'm going to show you how to use this, the flat brush. Just pick whatever color I want. Remember, this is just practice. And then paint. Okay, this can create a really cool value. So you can use this paintbrush, obviously, to paint. If you have a large area, you can also do a line. If you need more paint, just go back. You can do a line, and you can do something like this. So the flat brush is really good with that. One way to, if you put too much paint and you want to take off some of that paint, just clean your brush and go over that area and then clean off some of that excess paint and you can take it off and then also again create a value that's the flat brush next is your round brush and you're going to again take whatever color you want and this is how you can use this brush you can use it as a thin you can use it for like hair or grass or just small little details that get closer in and you can play around with this um, you know make some little designs but this brush is really cool too to do this design with next one is the script now this is my favorite because this gets all the details that you'll need on any painting that you're doing. So you can write your name with this brush, right? If you have a, a hairy dog or something, or if you want to do eyelashes, this brush is great. It's all about how you hold it in your hand, too. You just got to play along with the brush a little bit get to know the brush before you really get you know um, into these type of details. I've learned how to work with this brush so you're gonna have to do the same. Just get to know the brush. Look at uh, Bob Ross. Get to know your brush. Little happy eyelashes here. Okay Anytime that you're painting and you notice that your paint starting to get, um, you know, less paint, just put your paintbrush back in some water and go over that area. So this is the little bit of intro of how to use your paintbrushes that you should have. Now I'm going to show you just a couple techniques. I'm put this one to the side. Now this one's really fun. I really like this this technique and this is called wet on wet so you can just wet an area on your paper and then you take whatever color you want to start with and just let it drip and you see how it bleeds so you can do this type of technique on here let it bleed kind of make a really cool tie-dye look this technique is also good. Let me show you. Oops, wait, I need to wet it. So I'm going to wet a little bit of an area right here. I'm going to do a little flame first. And the reason why this is good if you're going to do like a flame because you want it to kind of blend. And so I'm going to go over the areas that I already painted on. Kind of bring it out and you see how it kind of blends in a little bit it's a really cool technique so 
so you can make these. I'm going to use my smaller brush to get the little fine details and blend it out a little bit. And then finish with a red. And these are just some ways you can use your paintbrush. But this technique is called wet on wet. You first wet your, your paper and then <clears throat> wet, the, wet the area, the surface. And you see how I used too much paint there? No big deal. Clean off my paintbrush and go back over it and clean it off with a paper towel. I have my towel always right next to me if I use too much paint. That's a good thing about watercolor is you can do that as long as you do it right away because if you wait then it's going to be more difficult for you to take it off. Okay so same thing wet on wet you want to just wet one little line you can do that and it goes right in that line look how cool that is so this technique is called wet on wet now don't paint next to it if you want that to stay as it is because then you're going to end up having them bleed together okay so that's just a little one-on-one -on -one how to use your paint brushes and some pretty cool techniques. There's more techniques, but I just want to get you started with these techniques. And to play around at home, I gave you about three or four watercolor papers. Please just try to use one because the project that you're doing right now, you can use watercolor paper. I hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.